Hello, my name is Sanat Tiwari and welcome to Buzz This Week, a show where Friends Reunion happens every week with memes and cricket news just without Justin Bieber on the show this week. Confirmed IPL 2021 in the UAE. The WTC finalists gear up and Sri Lanka prevent a Bangladesh clean sweep. The BCCI has finally announced that IPL 2021 was on the break and it is set to resume come September and October in the UAE. This decision was taken at the BCCI SGM where they cited inclement weather conditions as the reason behind shifting it from India to the UAE in the months of September and October. Now this will give rise to a player availability problem as ECB Managing Director Ashley Giles has already said that he wants his players to prioritise bilateral cricket ahead of the T20 World Cup than play in the IPL. There are also Australian media reports suggesting that Pat Cummins might not take the flight for the latter half of IPL 2021 as well. At the SGM, the BCCI also decided to seek more time from the ICC to maintain its prospects of hosting the T20 World Cup later this year in India and not shifting it out. The ICC is slated to meet on June 1st in their board meeting where they are likely to accede to this request from the BCCI. But sir, weather problem to UAE may be ho gai? Because there are just 20 days in which the IPL 2021 has to complete 31 games, which means there will be a lot more double headers. And all that I can say to the players is... <laughs> something that the PSL, which begins on June 1st for its second leg in the UAE, will also do. They've put in place coconut water, ice coolers on the collars, and everything else because you need it. In the UAE where day temperatures are touching 40 degrees, stepping out is a task. To go out and play cricket? I think it's warm in the sun. I'll take the AC. Depending on when you watch this episode, the Indian team might be ready to board their flight to the UK to play the World Test Championship final or might already be in the UK and quarantining in their hotels or might be clicking pictures with that World Test Championship trophy. <laughs> Smart guy. Internet AG, that's the beauty of the internet. You can watch this show anytime. But how cool would it be to watch the Indian team lift that WTC trophy in this beautiful retro kit? And Virat Kohli already has his eyes set on the goal. Exactly. <laughs> the ICC has also released playing conditions for the WTC final, which includes a reserve day. <laughs> Because ICC tournaments in the UK and rain go hand in hand. Better safe than sorry. They've also said that in case of a tie or a draw in the WTC final, both sides will be touted as joint winners. ICC finals in the UK and draws and ties also go hand in hand. Very well done, ICC. They've also said that to maintain neutrality in this game, they will use a Duke's ball because New Zealand at their home in the home tests use a Kookaburra ball while India at their home use an SD test ball. This Duke's ball will maintain neutrality in this WTC final. But do keep an eye out on New Zealand who are all set to take on England in their first test at the Lords where they meet for the first time since that CWC19 final. All of this only adds to the context because England may have some scores to settle there. England had more points on the WTC points table, but New Zealand had more percentage points on the WTC points table, which is why they made it to the final and not England. Which means expect some spice, expect some fight from both these teams. As they take on each other in the first test at the Lords, a cricket ground which Jimmy Anderson just loves. Come the first test match, if he makes it to the playing 11, James Anderson will play his 24th test match at the Lords, where he's just eight wickets away from a thousand first class wickets. This man is a bowling machine calibrated to perfection. But don't forget, Team India are also all in readiness to take on England in a one off test match this month. Yes, and it's going to be interesting to see that because they take the field to play a test match after almost seven years, and the excitement in that camp is palpable, as was demonstrated by Jemmy Rodriguez in this beautiful post.
In the build-up to the ICC Cricket World Cup 2023, a very resurgent Bangladesh is stopping that ODI Super League's points table at the moment, having beaten Sri Lanka for the first time in the history in a bilateral ODI series by 2-1. But captain Tami Mikbal lamented the loss of those 10 points and said that they might come back to haunt them and he wanted his side to go for the kill. While Sri Lankan legends are unhappy because their side is not really putting up the fight that they want. Talk of legends though, Chris Gale returns to the Caribbean party after sitting out in 2020. He's back in CPL 2021 playing for the St. Kitts and Nevis alongside Dwayne Bravo, Sherfan Rutherford and Evan Lewis. While CPL 2021 will also be the maiden tournament for Mohammad Amir from Pakistan and India's Under-19 World Cup 2012 squad member Smith Patel, both of whom will play for the Barbados Tridents. Your boss challenge for this week is to identify one threat in that WTC final for either sides. Like for India, I would say the biggest threat is going to be Kyle Jamieson. He's got the height and if the ball starts moving in Southampton, he might use that and his extra bounce to good effect. For New Zealand, I think their biggest threat is going to be that one man, Ravindra Jadeja. I know, I know the conditions are against him, but that one man has shown time and again that regardless of the conditions, he knows how to perform and he will be a key member for Team India and a key threat for New Zealand. What are your picks? Tell us using hashtag Buzz this week on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Jib tak ye chal rahe aur band nahi hai, phej do. That's all on this episode of Buzz this week. Until next week though, remember, we are friends and we are never on a break.